Welcome in to a pregame show that we're going to be talking about a lot of possibilities for the Knicks regarding their playoffs situation. A lot of stuff is going to be finally hammered out by the end of the afternoon, right? So we got the Knicks and Bulls at 1 o'clock. We have all, all the important games are at 1 o'clock, right? So we're going to figure out who we're going to play at around 3, 3.30-ish, right? Wizards Celtics doesn't have anything to do with us. That game doesn't mean anything to us. Then you got the Hornets and Cavs. Then you got the Hawks and Pacers. Then you got the Raptors and Heat. Um, then the Bulls and the Knicks and the Bucks and the Magic. I really want to focus on, this is the, if there's one game I'm going to be watching throughout the afternoon, it is this game. It is the Bucks and the Magic. Because a lot of possibilities can come out of this game. Like, a lot. Steven, what's going on in the chat? Yeah, just wanted to pregame it up. Discuss a lot of possibilities with you guys. Um, got the playoff probabilities here. And what do I think is ultimately going to happen? Which, you know, it's still like very much up in the air. But this afternoon, I think this game is going to define who we play in the first round. Right. Because let's say the mad look, the magic don't want to fall in the playing tournament. Right. The magic do not want to be in the playing tournament, because if they fall into the playing tournament, they face the Miami Heat in the playing. So in a perfect world, if the magic are going to I think Damian Lillard in that game is is um is going to play and the Bucks, do they really want to fall back into the. Three, well, the Bucks will be the four, right? So the Bucks want to win. The Bucks want to win. So, but the Magic need this game. So let's say the Magic win. E Money, what's going on, man? I love this Knicks team. Yeah, man. I mean, this is this is exciting stuff, man. Game eighty two, game eighty two. We are done. This is it. Next week, Saturday or Sunday, game one will be in Madison Square Garden. That's exciting stuff, right? Cannot wait for that. Cannot wait for, you know, Knicks playoff basketball. And we're going to know who we face. Or if we get that two seed, right, we won't know who we face until, like, I think uh, Tuesday or Wednesday because then we would have to wait for that playing game. So possibility number one. Let me go through the scenarios with you guys, right? The Knicks win. Because we all we all are expecting the Knicks win today, right? Bulls team, uh, hey, they could they could lose, right? Knicks could lose, but we're all expecting a Knicks win because they want that fifty win season, like Al said in the chat. Knicks want the fifty. Knicks want fifty wins. So let's predict the Knicks winning. Let's predict the Bucks losing. I'm going to predict the Bucks losing, and let's predict. The Magic winning, staying out the playing tournament. Pacers possibly, you know, they have a game against the Hawks winning. And then the 76ers could also win. You know, I mean, they're going to win. Getting, they got a game against Brooklyn. Then the New York Knicks are going to be the two seed. You know, they're going to be the two seed. If the Knicks win today, they're going to be, the, well, the, the, this, um, I think the Cavs own, like if the Cavs win and the Bucks were to lose, they jump to three, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Or I I forgot who owns that tiebreaker between the Cavs and the Bucks. I think the Bucks, no, the Cavs would win the division. So there's still a game back though. So even if we were to win, we would be ahead of the Cavs, I believe. It's if we were to lose, then we would fall back to the fourth seed. Okay, now now I'm starting to get it now. So if we win, Bucks lose, Cavs win, Cavs jump to three, Bucks jump to four, Knicks jump to two, 
And then it's the Knicks versus the seven and eight seed. Whoever is that seven and eight could be, you know, could be Philly, could be Indiana, could be Magic against the Miami Heat. And then we're all expecting the Miami Heat to come out of that. But then again, you never know. So that's that's if what I think is ultimately probably going to happen. Um, you see the probability chart here. It's the Knicks. They have the 35% chance at getting the two seed, 51% chance at getting the three seed, and a 12% chance at getting the four seed. That 12% chance is because if the Knicks were to lose, Cavs win, Bucks win, we fall to four because the Cavs own the division. They they would win their division and own the tiebreaker versus Milwaukee. So, and then we would fall to four and just face whoever's in that five seed, right? That's if we were to lose. Um, e Money says 51, 50 win season is an amazing achievement. I'm not scared of Doc Rivers in the playoffs. E Money, we wouldn't be facing Doc Rivers if um if 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 we were in. The, I mean, ultimately, if they were to advance to the second round, maybe. But I don't think we would face Doc Rivers in the. We're not. There's no scenario where the Knicks would play the Bucks in the first round. There's no scenario where the Knicks would play the Cavs in the first round. It's just. It's just the teams behind them, Magic, Pacers, 76ers, or the Heat. It could be any one of those teams. E-Money says there should be no reason why we shouldn't make the Eastern Conference Finals. We are the second best team in the East. Love the enthusiasm on this Sunday afternoon, man. Love the enthusiasm, man. Um, but, yeah, it depends. Like, there could be a path where we play, like, let's say we play Indiana, then Orlando in the second round. There could be a path like that. Like, it could be an easy path like that. Not easy, but it could be a, a, a nice, comfy path into the Eastern Conference Finals. But it all lies on today. It, it, it all comes down to today. And I'm, I'm actually excited um, because I do think they'll get to 50 wins. That's a huge accomplishment. And the Magic, are they, they want to win. The Magic want to win. They've been on a losing streak here. They've lost, I think, what, three or four in a row. Um, yeah, the Magic have lost three in a row. So they want to win. They want to stay out of that playing tournament, right? And Pacers get the Hawks, 76ers, they get the Brooklyn Nets. So you figure they're going to win. So let's say Indiana and the Magic win. They stay 5-6. They stay 5-6. And then it all comes down. And then if the Magic win, the Bucks were to lose. And then it all depends on us. And then we hop the Bucks, And then we're the two seed and we're waiting for that playing tournament. 7-8 matchup. And then you're looking at a 7-8 matchup with Philly and Miami. And then whoever comes out of that. Bring it on. 76ers, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, look, I'm not scared of anybody, right? Bring on anybody. Like, I, I feel like this Knicks team is is poised to to take whoever in the first round. Take them out. I mean, Indy, whether that's Orlando, Indiana, Philly. But what this playoff probability chart, the highest probability, the highest chance is us finishing number three. At 51%, 51%, and then the highest chance to finish number six is the Indiana Pacers. So that, in that scenario, the Bucks were to win, and then the Knicks stay at three, and then we would get whoever's in that six spot, and that would probably be Indiana, or Philly's right behind them at 38%. So it's moving day in the NBA, guys. It's moving day. It is moving there. I'm excited. Um, e Money says, who do you think is going to be the second best score on the Knicks in the playoffs? Believe it or not, I think it's going to be Dante. I think Dante is going to be their second best score. Um, obviously, he can get hot at any given moment. He can obviously shoot the three at a high rate, and he has been doing that for the majority of the season. So I think it's Dante, and then it's either Dante or OG, right? Those, those three players you want to be your second second scores. And I'm hoping, you know, Bogdanovich can be that that scoring punch off the bench, you know, that veteran presence off the bench. And we just go from there. The thing about the Pacers, how good is Tyrese Halliburton going to be? Yet, the thing about the Pacers is Tyrese Halliburton in the playoffs like he's going to he's going to become that villain, right? He's going to become that the Trey Young Knicks fans are going to like it's they're going to put a a bullseye on Tyrese Halliburton. He's going to become that villain and that would be a, a like that would be a, like 
in terms of like entertainment, that would be an entertaining series. But I can make the argument for the 76ers as well. Joel Embiid, um, Tyrese Maxey. I do think like if we get matched up with Philadelphia 76ers, we're not going to be favored in that series. I'm like, be prepared for it now. A lot of people are going to say they expect Philly to win. I'm not saying that. But I think you have pretty much Tyrese Halliburton and Jalen Brunson kind of neutralizing one another, right? Scoring at a high rate, and then it's just Joel Embiid. And then in the playoffs, he's shown that he he can't, one, he can't stay healthy. Two, he's kind of, he's kind of been bad in the postseason, Embiid. So, and then the guys around them, I think we have a better supporting cast around our guys. Obviously, we got home court too. That would be an intriguing matchup. So, moving day, man. Last game of the season, game 82. I'm excited for the guys. I'm excited to finally figure out who we play. And... Yeah, but if what E-Money says we got good bigs to go against Embiid, yeah, we do. You know, we do. We got Mitch and we got Hartenstein. One of them gets into foul trouble. You bring in Mitch, and we all know Mitch. We all know Mitch, you know, coming in off the bench, foul trouble, it really isn't an issue with Mitchell Robinson, right? So, yeah, but it's what I think is going to happen. Like, I honestly think. I think the Magic are really going to win today. I think the Magic are going to win. They're going to want to solidify themselves in the top six. So if the Magic win, Bucks lose. And then it all depends on if we win. And if we win, we get the two seed, and then whoever comes out of that playing tournament, whoever comes out of that playing tournament, that's what I ultimately think happens. And there, we could be staring at another Knicks-Miami Heat first-round matchup. Could be. It could happen. It's a huge possibility probability it is because if the Knicks get the play in you figure the Miami is going to come out of that game right now it'll be the heat 76ers in the um play-in game but let me just pull up the NBA um standings because I know they have the bracket Maxi not getting buckets on Embiid yeah I mean, Maxi not getting buckets on OG. Sorry, excuse me. Yay, money. OG's gonna, you know, that's that's the beauty of having OG. Throw him at anybody, and and we just go from there. But look, if if the if the Bucks were to win, then we stay three, and then it's Knicks Pacers. And ultimately, obviously, I think Pacers are gonna win. I think the teams behind us, except if the Bucks were to win, are going to win their games. Like Indiana's home. Philly's home against Brooklyn. Brooklyn is a mess. They have nothing to play for. You 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 chalk up a win there. But the game that I'm watching is the Magic and the and the and the Bucks. That's the game that's gonna define who we play in the first round. This game right here. This is the game that I'm gonna have on my second screen. Magic, Bucks. That's the game where I'm watching because that's gonna define who we play. Nostalgic, what's going on, man? Appreciate you hopping in here. Just want to come on here, you know, before the game, man. Um, one o'clock start, early start. A lot of these games are at one o'clock. I feel like I feel like it's a football Sunday, man. <laughs> one o'clock, one o'clock, one o'clock, one o'clock. So it's gonna be a, it's moving day in the NBA, and we finally get some solidarity solidarity on on who we play, right? So nostalgic says first and foremost, congrats to all Knicks fans on a magical season. Yes, nostalgic. Shout out to the Knicks. Shout out to the Knicks fans. Um, this has been an incredible season. Game 82, last game of the season, which is absolutely crazy. This season has flown by. Like, But job ain't finished yet. Job ain't finished yet, right? Still got work to do. We still got work to do. We still have our first round opponent, whoever that's going to be. Um, but that will be defined today. At around 3.30ish, probably even before that, we're going to know who we play in the first round or if we get the two seed we're gonna have to wait another couple of days <laughs> which kind of is you know the whole the beauty of the nba right that's the beauty of everything um but then again if we get the two seed we kind of get a team coming off of you know another game tired having to come into the the, the dungeon in madison square garden whether that's the heat or somebody else but yeah Nostalgic, man. Appreciate you. E-Money says, Knicks versus Miami first round would be crazy, but Miami don't got the same 
role players as last year. E money, they added um they added uh Rogier. And Rogier is a big piece for them. Um and I think they're they're fairly healthy. But if you were to ask if you were to put out a poll and you would ask Knicks fans who would they rather face, you know, Miami would probably be last on that list. But bring it on, man. We're, we we, we want to seek revenge. I mean, last year they sent us home. So what better way to send them home in the first round? That's if we play them, obviously. But just bring it on, man. I mean, look, Butler hasn't been the same. Bam is going to be a, a an issue. Obviously, we know Bam and his injury history regarding opponent players. But, yeah, man. But this is the game. Um, those of you just joining, I wanted to hop on here before the Knicks game. Knicks play at 1 o'clock and just talk about the playoff probabilities. I bring up the chart again. But you figure the Knicks win, right, to get the 50 wins. That would be a huge accomplishment, and I figure that's what they're aiming for. So if the Knicks win, we're just worried about this Bucks magic game. That's it. Let's say we do our job. We just have to watch to see if the Bucks and the Magic, they square off. That's going to be, look, Magic, I mean, the Bucks are going to be without Giannis, and the Bucks haven't been playing well. So there's a real possibility we're going to end today with the two seed and not really know who we're facing in the first round until the next couple of days. Because unless Dame goes for like 50, right? Unless Dame wills them to a victory. So this is the game we're going to be watching. And then obviously we're expecting a 76ers win, um, a Pacers win too. Pacers get the Hawks. But you never know. You never know. So e says, do you do post-game live streams? Yeah, money. I'll be on. I'll be on. Look, every post-game I'm doing the live streams, I'll be in – I'll be in New York for game one. And so I'll be there next weekend doing, you know, doing everything. Coming, come bringing you guys tons of content from there. So I'm excited, man. But probabilities again, the highest probabilities. This is what, this is what, um, this is what this website is saying. This is what they're thinking. Like, this is the highest probability. This is from basketballreference.com. They predict the Knicks getting the third seed. So they predict. The, the the Bucks winning, fifty one percent chance, the Bucks stay in that second seed, and if they lose, and the Cavs win, um, I think they ultimately end up with the third seed because we have the tiebreaker over the Cavs. So, and then I think the Cavs would jump to, they could jump to the second because they won the division. No, so that brings the Bucks to the four. So Knicks win. Bucks lose, Cavs win, Bucks go to four, and I think the Cavs go to two because they get they win the division. So let me know if I got that right. But that's that's a that's a that, that that's a probability. But it's all going to be defined today. Fakey fake, what's going on, man? Appreciate you hopping in here. I don't trust the refs. We have to watch out with these refs calling ticky tack fouls on the Knicks, especially against Mitch and OG. Playoffs, man. Playoffs is is a different animal, right? We know we know during the playoffs. Look, the NBA has already come out and said that their NBA referees have kind of changed the way they've been playing. Excuse me, calling these games, right? So, look, refs are always going to be a, a topic, and it's it's just I hope it doesn't come down to one of these games where the refs ruin the game, right? You Ultimately, you don't want that. You don't want that at all. So, full slate of games today. Knicks and Bulls at 1 o'clock. You figure we're going to win that game. Um, but you never know. It's the NBA, right? You never know. You figure we're going to win, and then we're just watching this Magic Bucks game. And then, yeah, man, and that's it. And then we hopefully... We know that either we're the second seed and in these next couple of days we'll figure out who comes out of that seven and eight spot. But it's um it's exciting stuff, man. Playoffs are starting next week. Just get ready. Get ready for the gauntlet in MSG. Get ready for the gauntlet in MSG. But I ultimately I put out a um I put out something on Twitter. I asked everybody what do they think is gonna happen, right? On Twitter. So we got, um, let me just go through it. Knicks second seed, we end up playing Miami in the first round. That's a possibility. I think Knicks two and Miami will win the first play-in, so we play the Miami Heat in the first round. 
So that's a that's it's it's it's, a, it's out there, man. It could you could very well see Knicks Heat first round. That's a real possibility. That's unless the that's unless the Magic win the, today's game. Um, Michael says if the Knicks win the second seed, we still won't know. Yeah, we still won't know. And then Coffee comes out and says Boston, Knicks, Milwaukee, Cleveland, Indiana, Orlando, Philly, Miami, seven eight. So then that's seven eight. Man, if the Knicks get the two seed, and there's a standalone, there's gonna be a standalone game between the Philadelphia 76ers and Miami Heat. All eyes are gonna be on that game. It's it's whether Knicks fans are gonna be like, who do you who do you want? The 76ers or the Miami Heat? And I guarantee you most Knicks fans are gonna pick the 76ers. Um, and I would pick the 76ers. But then again, I know the Knicks in that locker room, you figure, look, they want revenge. They want to seek revenge and I'm sure it's not going to matter to those guys. Whoever we play, I feel like we have a good a good shot. Either way. Um, Knicks two seed. So, yeah, two seed is a real possibility, guys. I mean, it's just, it's 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 like I said, magic. Magic bucks. That's the game we need to be paying attention to today. That's the game I would have on my second screen. And that's the game where I think is going to define who we play. Because if the Bucks win, we stay number three. And the Cavs win, they stay number five. I mean, number four, excuse me. And if everyone wins, like, Buck, let's say, okay, let's say Bucks win, they get the two seed. We win, we stay number three. Cavs win. Who the Cavs play today? Charlotte. Cavs are going to win. <laughs> Cavs are going to win. But either way, they're stuck in four. Like they can't. The only way the Cavs can jump is if the Bucks lose, and then they they would jump the Bucks. But if Knicks lose, Bucks lose, Cavs go to two, and we go to four, and Bucks go to. Oh, we go to I think three or four. One of them. My head hurts. Sorry. Um, Magic. That's the game. I mean, right? If if we're predicting the Bucks to win, then the Magic were to lose, and then the Magic can fall in that playing tournament, and it could be. Heat Magic in that play-in game, which would be MSG South. Pick pick your poison. You want the Magic or you want the Heat? Obviously, at, at that point, it's going to be Nick majority is going to pick the Magic. But and then Indiana, let's say Indiana has the Hawks, right? So and then 76ers would hop in that in the top six in the Eastern Conference. It's a moving day. It is moving day. Nostalgic. Appreciate you. Thank you for the quality content. Always, man. Trying to bring you guys as much content as possible. We'll be on post game today and then got a podcast live stream talking over who we play. Hopefully, obviously, if we get the second seed, we still won't know. But we'll debate either who we want to play in that seven and eight podcast later tonight as well. Nostalgic says, yes, it's a major day. It's a major day, man. It feels like football Sunday. It feels like NBA Sunday. All these games are bunched together at 1 o'clock. Nets, 76ers, Bucks, Magic. This is the game that I'm watching, guys. And then the Bulls, Knicks. I think the Knicks ultimately come out on top in that game because 50 wins, man. That's a huge accomplishment. Think about what the Knicks have gone through this season, man. All the injuries, and you're, you're going to end the season 50 and 32. That is That is amazing. Like that is amazing, and I know I know people are gonna say, "Look, the East is a, was a mess this year." Who cares? I mean, at the end of the day, we dealt with a whole bunch of crap, and for the Knicks to get that second seed is massive. So, Raptors Heat doesn't really have any meaning, right? Hawks Pacers could have some meaning. Hawks beat the Pacers, and the Pacers kind of fall back. So is Trey Young playing today? I don't know if Trey Young is back. I know he's been like kind of practicing. I don't know if he's back. And then Hornets at Cleveland. And then that doesn't really have it. You predict Cleveland to win that game. And then Boston don't matter. And then you've got all the West games. And then we have, I think, one East game in the three o'clock hour, if I'm not mistaken. No, we don't. Yeah, Pistons, Spurs. I mean, that doesn't that doesn't mean anything, but yeah, guys, one o'clock. One o'clock. It's it's who we. It's who. This Magic Bucks game is gonna. Def, it's gonna define who we play, man. It is. It is, because. 
a lot of possibilities can come out of um that game. Let me go to the uh the bracket again. I like seeing this bracket for some reason. Um standings. I like seeing this bracket. Appreciate every single one of you hopping in here this Sunday afternoon. Just wanted to do a quick improv to live stream. This is it, man. Game 82 out of 82. This is it. Um, season is done. After today, we finally figure out who we play. Or it could be in the next couple of days. If we get that two seed, we can finally figure out either between two teams who we play. Um, because if we get the two seed, we play whoever comes out of this seven and eight matchup. And then the Heat are stuck in uh, the seven seed. I mean, no, excuse me, the eighth seed. Heat are stuck there. So they could lose that game, right? You figure they could lose that game because whoever has a seven seed has home court, right? So if it's Philly, Miami at Philly, it's up in the air. It is. But I think the the the, the main game that we're watching today is, is uh, Magic and the Bucks. Because if that game... If that can go, if the, if the Bucks were to lose, then we were to win. We're good. Kenora, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Well, the NBA hasn't done very much to restore any faith in the officiating. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the, the officiating, look, I think they get penalized on the calls that they miss. They get less playoff games. They don't play... Like, you see in these playoffs, you see these high-ranked officials. Like, you see, like, veteran officials. So, the younger officials don't really play in these playoffs, like, series. But at the end of the day, look, you, you deal with this in all major sports, man. Referees, I just hope, at the end of the day, don't decide a game between, like, a stupid call. Honestly, I do not want to face Miami. Kenora says, honestly, I do not want to face Miami. Look, it could be... If we were to win, Bucks lose, it could be you're staying at the Miami Heat in the first round. And I understand it, but look, it, everyone says it's a different Heat team, but they kind of turn up another notch in the playoffs, right? They kind of turn up another gear in the playoffs. So, but I get it. I get why you wouldn't want to face Miami. I, 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 I get it. I get it 100%. But... Yeah, I, I like... Are there Knicks fans out there that kind of want them to lose? I don't want that two seed. I want to see. I want to gauge. Like, is there Knicks fans out there that want them to lose? I don't know because if they if they lose, you still get home court in that first round. But if you lose, you still have a possibility of falling back into number four. And if you're the fourth seed, you get Boston in the second round, and that's what you do not want, right? But I don't know. Are there Knicks fans out there that just want them to not want them to get the two seed? Like, I don't, it, me, in my opinion, it doesn't, like, two seed, you avoid Boston in the second round, and you get home court in the second round, too. So, um, yeah, man, moving day. I'm excited. This game, game 82, that's it. 82, 82 out of 82. We finally get to figure out who we play in the first round. Smash the thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Um, Come join us here in the chat, just talking it up before this Knicks Bulls game at one o'clock in Madison Square Garden. Want to hear your guys' thoughts about who do you who do you want to play? Where do you want the Knicks to finish? I also may do think the Knicks win today and get to fifty wins. Um, and then it's the game game of the game of the day today is not Knicks Bulls. I think it's Magic Bucks. That's the game we. That's the game we're gonna be watching. So this is it. Dame is gonna play, I think. So. And the Bucks have kind of taken care of business throughout the throughout the um look, they won, they played last week and the, the Bucks won. And December Bucks won, November, Magic won. Magic are reeling. So I think Dame is back for this game. And this is the game that's gonna be, you know, on my second screen because that game is going to determine a lot in the NBA Eastern Conference standings. So Kenora says, yeah, we can't afford four. I definitely want number three. Here's the possibility of getting number number four. The only way the New York Knicks get the fourth seed, right, is if the Bucks lose, the Knicks lose, Cavs win. That's the possibility of getting the fourth seed. No, Bucks, 
Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Bucks lose. Knicks lose. Cavs win. Then we kind of get screwed on a three-way tie. Because then the, our, our, our schedule would be, everyone would be tied here and the Cavs would win the division. Because if you go to the division, Cavs are a game back on Milwaukee. Then, and then the, the Bucks own the tiebreaker from the Knicks. So they would get the three seed and then it'll be Knicks number four. And then it'll be whoever the Knicks and whoever is number five in the first round. That's, that's, that's the least likely scenario. Like, I think that's the least likely scenario, but it is a possibility. That's if, yo, if, if you think the Knicks are going to lose today, that's a possibility. We can get number four, and then you would be staring at, if the Magic were to win, you would be staring at Knicks Magic, first round. It's a possibility. Nick, Knicks Cave says, I'd rather get second and set the tempo for the playoffs. Boom. I think what ultimately comes out today from all these games is the highest. I think we get the second seed guys. I really do. Cause I don't, I think the magic win today. I really do think the magic win today. And obviously I think we win. And if you're looking at the probability chart, 51% chance staying in the three seed, that's a high percent, 35% chance staying in the second seed, 12% chance. Like I said, lowest, lowest probability of the Knicks finishing four, because do you really have the Knicks losing to the Bulls today? It's a possibility. It's the NBA. We could come out flat like we did versus the Nets. You never know. But I'm just excited to see what happens. But at the end of the day, we know we get first round in the in the in the in the, in the first round home court in the playoffs. So Knicks Cave says I'd rather get second. I set the tempo. Yeah, man. Second seed with all the injuries we've had this season. Set the tempo. Wait for the play-in game. Wait to see who comes out of that game. And we just tip the ball up from there. But ultimately, game one will either be, I think it's going to be, I'm leaning towards Sunday, next Sunday, the 21st. I think I'm leaning towards that. Maybe. It could be Saturday or Sunday, the 21st or the 21st, game one in Madison Square Garden. I would like it to be Saturday. That would be crazy. But, yeah, ultimately, I think the Knicks, I don't know, man. Do you, do you see the Bucks losing today? Do you see the Bucks losing? I do. There's a part of me that thinks they do. But there's a part of me that thinks they don't. I'm trying to look at it from Milwaukee's perspective. Because if you stay number two, you could wait for... It could it could be Bucks, 76ers, Heat, first round. And do they really want that, considering the Giannis injury and whatnot? But if they finish three, it still could be Bucks, 76ers. So... You either way, all these teams can't come in today and 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 say, "Oh, I want to lose or I want to win or I want this to happen," because we still don't know. Like, there's so many different possibilities in there. All we know is that we're gonna avoid Cleveland in the first round. It's not gonna be Knicks Cleveland, and it's not gonna be Knicks Bucks, and it's not gonna be Knicks Celtics. It's between the Knicks playing playing the Magic. I think is the lowest probability for the Knicks, but it could be Orlando, Indiana. Or Philly and Miami coming out that first first round matchup for the New York Knicks. And that, my friends, is exciting stuff. Like I said, Halle Burton, first round. Knicks Pacers, first round. Halle Burton will embrace that villain role. Knicks fans would go after him. Um, and ultimately, obviously, we know the history between the Knicks and the Pacers in the first round. Not, not in the first, well, prior, in the, like in the 90s. There's history there. And Halle Burton will embrace that villain role and that would be exciting um i think that series would have more juice i think that series would have more juice and in terms of like excitement i think it'll be i don't know excitement i think the pacers would be pacers knicks would probably be the most like thrilling series in terms of like indiana has the villain and whatnot, and the history between the Knicks and the Pacers, obviously. And then there's a real possibility we could face the 76ers too. So, and then you got Dan Bede and the whole, he doesn't perform in the playoffs and him in Madison Square Garden. And I think we can neutralize the 76ers do. I think we do. Chico, what's going on? 
we good in the three i think chico man what's going on i appreciate you hopping in here um yeah i mean the only way we stay three is if the bucks win bucks win we stay three so that's why that's why i said the game the bucks magic game is going to define everything bucks win we stay number three and whoever and then then we find out who we play number six today i'm saying three six matches up and then it's between indiana um orlando or or the philadelphia 70 well if Here's the thing: if the if we're predicting the Bucks to win, man, the Magic are going to lose. So the Magic fall in that playing game, and then it'll be predict the 76ers to win. It'll be Knicks 76ers in the first round because then the Pacers would jump to five, Sixers would jump to six. Nostalgic says Knicks need an easy first round opponent. E uh, who do you guys think is the easiest path? Like the easiest first round opponent? In my opinion, it's the Magic. That's the easiest first round opponent. But that's the lowest probability. That's if the Knicks... I think if the Knicks lose, they have a possibility of playing the Magic in the first round. But if they win, I don't, I don't see them playing the Magic. But I don't look... I look at it, I look at it this way. No Embiid today. Joel Embiid is out? Hmm... I still think they could beat the Nets without Embiid because they have Maxi, but that's interesting. That's interesting. No Embiid today. I, I don't know. That's interesting. But I still do think they can beat the Nets. The Nets are, but then that that I mean that's that's up in the air too, right? No Embiid is huge because if Brooklyn wins that game, you know, seventy six is staying to playing, right? So that could that could define a lot too. So that's. No one beat today. What about Dame? Is Dame playing? Is Dame playing? I think Dame is playing. Updated fresh on the top. Updated. Uh, um, trying to get some. Joel Embiid, KJ Martin, and Deontay Mellon are all out today against the 76ers. So, look, 76ers can still lose or win. But I still predict the 76ers to win that game. So no Embiid, no Melton against Brooklyn. Hey, take that for what you will. 76ers right now are the seventh seed in the East. And right now, if the season ended today, it'll be 76ers Miami Heat, and it'll be Knicks against the Indiana Pacers. So like I said, it all depends on if the Bucks were to win because it's moving day. If the Bucks were to lose, that brings up a whole boatload of possibilities. Bucks lose, Knicks win. Then, obviously, we hop to six. But if the Bucks lose, Knicks lose, Knicks fall to four, Cavs go to two, Bucks go to three, and then it's Knicks and whoever finishes in that five today. So, Cavs are the best best first round. It it wouldn't be Knicks can't play the Cavs in the first round. CEO. Knicks can't play the Cavs in the first round. There's no possibility of the Knicks playing the Cavs in the first round. Um, that was um, that was defined, I think, a few days ago. So no Knicks-Cavs first round because Cavs can't finish lower than four, right? And the Knicks can't finish lower than four. So it, it, it's not going to be Knicks-Cavs first round. That's not going to that's not gonna happen. Chico says Dame is playing. Yeah, man, it's this Nick. It's the it's the Bucks and the Magic game. I'm sure if you guys have an opportunity to watch that game, that's gonna define a lot, man. That's gonna be right there on my second screen, watching that game all game long. And I do think, I do think, you know, Magic have a shot. Magic have been look, they haven't been playing well. So Dame can go to Orlando and drop forty or fifty and will the Bucks to a victory. They beat them last week, so. Chico says, do we want the two? That's the question I asked I asked earlier. Do we want that two seed? Are there Knicks fans that want the two seed? Because, or are the Knicks fans, are there Knicks fans that want to stay three? But at the end of the day, like, we have a full squad today, right? Hardenstein's playing, and I think Ms. Deuce playing today. I think we have, a, like, our, our full squad out there today. So I do think the Knicks ultimately come out of this game with a victory. I mean, what is what is the line? Even though I'm not really a betting person, the Knicks are favored by 13 and a half points today. 
13 and a half points today. That's kind of high, right? But, all right, so if you're looking at the lines, right, strictly from Vegas, Cavs are predicting Cavs to win. Pacers are 14 and a half points favorites. Um, Knicks are 13 and a half point favorites. Orlando is six and a half point favorites today. So what ESPN is telling you is that they expect the Bucks to lose. Orlando is six and a half point favorites. That's just Vegas, you know. Anything can happen still. Um, so if Magic lose, we win. Hello, two seed. Hello, two seed. And then it's between whoever's in that seven and eight. It's hello, two seed. If that ha- if that was to happen, so. But I do think is that's gonna happen ultimately. Um, Pacers, I won't mind. They're young, so they will mess up. That's the thing with these young teams. You have to you have to be careful. Look, the inexperienced team will be the Pacers, the Magic. Um, but at the end of the day, they still have you know good players on the team. But I think the easiest opponent will be the Magic. But I think that's the less likely for the Knicks. A lot of things were had to place or had to take place. I think the Magic are the least likely opponent today. I mean that in the, in the first round of the playoffs, who we would face. Because a lot of stuff has to go wrong for that. Knicks would have to lose. Like, they would have to jump to four. Magic would have to stay number five. And then that's that's the way the Knicks and the Magic would face in the first round. It's not looking likely. Um, the two likely scenarios, two seed, and then we play a seven and eight seed. Seven um, seven and eight, we wait. We wait a couple of more days who we have to face in that, in that playing game, the standalone playing game. And we stay to three seed. And then whoever finishes number six. So ultimately, I think either after, you know, after four o'clock, we're going to know either the two seed or we're going to face Indiana or the 76ers. That's 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 what I think the two higher, the highest possibilities are. Right. So. Um, Knicks cave, what's going on? Knicks four two round for whoever. I don't think it matters. Brunson and the Knicks got something to prove. We on a mission, man. We on a mission. That's the thing, man. We look at the end of the day, we can go through who we want to play, who we don't want to play. The basketball gods are going to define that, right? At the end of the day, the basketball gods are going to define that who we play and who we don't want to play. But I think the a two seed at the end of the day, Knicks fans, a two seed is a huge accomplishment, like massive accomplishment. And then obviously two seed, we get the two seed. We play a tired team coming in off of a play in game. And whether that's Miami or someone else, but there's a big possibility, huge possibility. It could be Knicks heat first round, which I think a lot of Knicks fans would be torn over because a lot of Knicks fans don't want Knicks heat first round or Knicks 76ers first round. But I think Knicks fans want that Knicks Pacers first round. And I think we could get that if the Bucks were a win today. So Bucks win. Knicks win, Cavs win, Orlando loses, they fall out of that five seed, right? And then Indiana wins, like, if that's the thing. If the Bucks win, they beat Orlando, right? And if Indiana wins, they jump Orlando. And if Philly wins, <laughs> they go to six. So that's why I'm telling you guys, this, this magic this Magic Bucks game is going to define who we play. Ultimately. Ultimately define who we play. And everyone's, um, why did I go to 76ers Nets? I'm, I'm surprised that the Magic are favored six and a half in that game, though. I'm surprised. Right? Aren't you guys surprised that the Magic are kind of, Magic are desperate, right? They want to stay out of the playing tournament. But I'm surprised they're favored by six by four and a half, excuse me. No, six and a half. It opened at four and a half. Now it's six and a half points. So I'm a little bit surprised. But no Giannis. Dame is gonna be there. Giannis is out. Dame is healthy. Wendell Carter is Wendell Carter playing for the Magic. Look, Magic on a losing streak, so anything is possible. Anything is possible right now. But no Embiid. So if the Nets pull off a, a win. Which I like if Cam Thomas goes to if time Cam Thomas goes off like he went off against us, Nets could win, right? That game that game is kind of up in the air now, you know, with no Embiid. I think the Nick the the 76ers are kind of playing their 
whoever they, they face, they face. They're trying to give Embiid as much time as possible to rest up. That's what they're trying to do. One thing that tells me that is that Embiid isn't healthy. Embiid isn't healthy. Dame is out. Lou in the chat says no Dame. No way. No Dame. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a Dame. No, he's available to play. It says he's available to play. So Dame is playing. Lou. Dame is playing. So that game is up in the air, friends. That game is up in the air. So Dame is playing, and that's going to be the game, guys. That's going to be a game that defines who we play in the first round. If the Bucks win, we know at the end of the day who we play in the first round. End of story. Bucks lose, we win. We're going to have to wait a couple of more days until we figure out who we play in the first round because then we would play the stand the standalone playing game between that 7 and 8 series. Um, Chico says, ah, do the Bucks even want to win this game is the question. That's the thing. Like, that's what I was asking earlier. Do the Bucks um do the Bucks want to win? Like, but they can't play the the cards of like if the Bucks stay in the in the in the seventh seed, they if the like if um excuse me, if the Bucks stay in the two seed, they they play either right now it's the 76ers or Miami. That's the Bucks. Um that's the Bucks situation. But I don't know. Like I don't I don't know because if they if they win if they lose there's a huge possibility that we get Bucks 76ers first round. It could be it could be. But game is in 10 minutes. Guys, hit him up. What's going on? Salute, salute, hit him up just coming on here, chopping it up, talking about all the scenarios regarding the New York Knicks, where they can finish, where ultimately they would end. It's still very much up in the air. The Knicks play the Bulls in about 15 minutes. So we got to watch all these matchups at 1 o'clock. Feels like a football Sunday. It's, it's exciting. Game 82, 50 wins on the table. Knicks, huge accomplishment. Just come out of today fully healthy. Hopefully the guys don't have to play, exert themselves too much. We don't want any – I don't even want to say anything. We don't want any of that, right? But just come out of today healthy, and, and that's it, man. And then we got a full week, right, until the, the first round of the playoffs. So – First round is next Saturday or Sunday. Starts next Saturday. So it's whether the Knicks play that game one Saturday or game one will be on Sunday. So we kind of got a week to rest up here. So I'm excited. But Knicks, Bulls, I'm expecting a win. So we just have to see what dominoes fall into place after that. I mean, it's it's still very much fluent. But the highest probabilities could be the Knicks Heat first round or Knicks 76ers. Or Knicks Pacers. It's one of those three teams I think the Knicks face. But if the Knicks lose, then it could be a different story. And we then the, that's when the magic opens up. That's the only scenario where I see the Knicks facing the magic. Unless the magic at the play in and they beat Miami somehow. And then we would be Knicks magic in the first round. But still a lot of possibilities. I'm excited, man. This was this was this was a crazy season, guys. I mean, just looking back out of it, but job ain't finished job ain't finished man if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel i'll be doing the post game after today's game um and then we'll do you know live podcast later on tonight so ton of knicks content coming at you um pleasure this was a pleasure this was fun i'm, I'm excited to watch this next game i'll have the bucks game on my, on my on my other screen as well so we just have to wait and see what comes out of that but if you haven't done so already hit up knicks nation on twitter follow me on twitter at knicks nation um, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing content like always. And Instagram too as well. We got the Instagram linked in the bio. So providing Knicks content all all playoff long and all, all season long pretty much. But appreciate every single one of you that joined us. Uh, CEO says, don't matter. We good money. Let's run through these teams. NYC ball is back. No soft players on our team. Look, there's been a bunch of people saying that in my live streams, in the post-game live streams, that it doesn't matter who we play this Knicks team is built for the moment they're built to win around they're, they're a bunch of dogs and now that we secured home court in that first round 
that's our six man. MSG Faithful is going to show out. They're going to come out. That place is is going to shake. Like MSG shakes during the playoffs. It doesn't matter. Bring it on. Whoever we face, it's going to be in a crazy matchup. Pacers, 76ers, Heat. It doesn't matter, right? I think ultimately there's there's certain matchups where obviously it would be easier than others. But ultimately, we have to get through these teams in order to reach our end goal. So, and we all know what our end goal is. It's not going to be easy. But like I've been saying, as long as we got number 11, anything is possible. Chico says, yes, sir. Let's get it. We here. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's get this win today. I'll be back during the post game. Hope to see you guys in there. I'm Anthony from Knicks Nation. I'll catch you guys in a few hours. <laughs> Peace.